In this module, we will look at some of the different implementations of the architecture that in some way could be considered as related to the internet. The architectures are as follows. Number one, we have the intranet. Number two, we have the uh, extranet. And number three, we have of course the internet. The intranet is a local implementation of the web technologies you might say or the internet based technologies. Usually it is confined to a particular organization or company and it may well be confined to one physical location. In this case we might have applications uh, that are carried on servers and we have clients that would access applications and perform various functions. But these functions are confined within a particular organization. One of the uh, things that might uh, be of interest here is that uh, this particular server here uh, could be a web server that may uh, provide information to the clients or that might even give the clients access to databases and so on. This shows a trend in the long term the internet technologies that's the technology that is used for accessing services applications information etc over the internet could also be used and will also be used uh, for the same purposes within an organization as well. So this is the uh, intranet. The second one we talked about is the extranet. In this case uh, it may involve not simply one organization but the branch offices of these organizations as well. This is known as the extranet. Incidentally these different branch offices let us call it A, B and C they are linked together over the internet but in order to keep the information confidential or private from others usually people will set up something called a VPN. A VPN stands for a virtual private network. It is virtual because it is set up within a public network which is the internet and it acts as the private network because the virtual private network will limit access to the constituents. In other words, the virtual private network that is set up here will only allow A and B and C to communicate with one another in a secure mode. How is it made possible? It is made possible as follows. Uh, one would establish, for example, a link between A and B. It is known as a secure link where the information that is exchanged between A and B is exchanged as encrypted information so that others cannot decrypt this information. And this is a secure connection. And there are protocols that can be used for establishing this secure connection. A uh, prominent protocol uh, in the past of course it has been modified in recent time is known as PPTP that is the point to point tunneling protocol uh, which allows information to tunnel through the internet. Tunneling means this particular stream of information will pass from A to B and from B to A in encrypted form. That's where the name tunneling comes from. Uh, this, these lines are normal internet lines where uh, they are secured because of the fact uh, we use encryption and the protocol here PPTP would help us to do that by encrypting the information and thus tunneling within an already existing internet infrastructure. And of course the uh, third architecture is the uh, internet. Internet is the vast collection of uh, networks, computers, routers, switches, etc., etc., and one would gain access to the internet, uh, for example, through a service provider. 
and the service provider will give us access to the internet this is of course a very uh, popular connection that needs no further uh, explanation so to summarize what we looked at we looked at the intranet we looked at the extranet then of course we looked at the internet and the basis for all these uh, architectures are the web services or the internet services uh, that includes various applications and uh, various uh, hardware that would normally be used on the internet.